Southwest at the Bank of America, stay down. Shots are being fired, automatic fire. Shots are being fired from AK-47. There is an officer down. February 28, 1997. North Hollywood, California. Scene of the largest gunfight ever caught on tape. 1,100 rounds of armored piercing bullets are fired. Nine officers are shot. Seven civilians are injured. But thanks to the bravery of countless Southern California police officers, no one is killed except the two bank robbers. After locking more than 30 hostages in the bank's vault, the two gunmen try to make their getaway. But they're surprised by police. The gunmen open fire, spraying bullets at anything in their way. Jorge Vieira, a Spanish-speaking reporter for Telemundo Television, is one of the first to arrive on the scene. There was bullets everywhere. Jorge spots one of the gunmen, but mistakes him for a cop. We didn't know where the bullets were coming from or what was happening or anything. Not realizing that they are in extreme danger, they barricade themselves close to the bank robber. Jorge continues to report on the robbery, fully aware that this newscast may be his last. En este momento la policía está intercambiando balas. The suspect is moving northbound in the parking lot. The suspect is behind the white vehicle in the parking lot. The gunmen continue their assault. While one suspect drives, the other walks calmly beside the vehicle, blasting everything in sight. He goes about 10 yards, turn around, caps off, and clip around at us. The return barrage of police gunfire is deflected by the bank robber's body armor. Uh, I don't know how many times, but the heavy, heavy body armor, he's not knocking down at all. Watch closely as the gunman lurches forward, a police round literally bouncing off of him. Go for the legs. They don't have body armor on their legs. The quick-thinking police borrow high-powered weapons from a neighborhood gun shop and take the offensive when the gunmen split up, shooting only a pistol. The gunman on foot is finally outgunned. In a burst of gunfire, his weapon is shot from his grasp. Then the gunman goes down. The second bank robber heads into the residential neighborhood. Families take cover inside their homes as he attempts to hijack passing motorists. Calmly, methodically, the suspect transfers his weapons into the pickup. When the truck won't start, the police make their move. The gunman opens fire at the police. The officers return fire. Then, a direct hit by police. The suspect has fired his final shot. Calm is once again restored. One suspect on Archwood is in custody. 